Hello, hello, hello. So you are looking to play Left 4 Dead 2 in VR. It's actually really easy to get going. Let's go over it real quick. Step into my office. Step one, you want to buy and install Left 4 Dead 2 on Steam. Yes, you need to have the game in order to mod the game. <laughs> Step two, you want to download the mod zip file from the link in the description. The website will look something like this. You just want to download this file right here, Left 4 Dead 2 VR. Step three, you want to navigate to your Left 4 Dead 2 game folder and extract the downloaded file into said folder. Another very easy step, you want to go onto Steam, right click Left 4 Dead, go to Manage, and go to Browse Local Files. Now you want to open your Left 4 Dead zip file and you want to drag and drop these three this folder and the two files into the Left 4 Dead folder. Step 4, you want to add the following launch options to your Left 4 Dead game in the Steam properties. Hop over to Steam, right click Left 4 Dead in Steam, go to Properties, and you want to copy and paste this line of uh, launch options right here, which will be in the description as well. Uh, while you are in this window, you also want to disable Use Desktop Game Theater while SteamVR is active. Always come make it a habit of disabling this option when you're modding games for VR. Step 5, you want to start SteamVR and launch Left 4 Dead 2 with the launch options above. Once SteamVR is started, you want to go into Steam and just launch Left 4 Dead 2. Now it is going to pop up, it will say Left 4 Dead does not support VR, just click OK and ignore it. The game will inform you that you have an insecure uh, launch option, which means you will not be able to play on multiplayer VAC servers. Don't worry though, you will be able to play on your own servers with your friends still. Now once you are in the game, you want to... I gotta use my keyboard here, for some reason my mouse doesn't work, but you want to go to Options, go to Video, uh, make sure all this is uh, proper, it should all be set already. Uh, in Advanced Settings, you want to uh, basically just copy my settings, I'm going to turn anti-aliasing down. Um, but try and make sure all these settings are, are the same, and you want to make sure that multi-core rendering is disabled. Now you are pretty much done. Now all you need to do is load into a campaign and press the A button. Once you are loaded in, you have to press A on your controller or F6 on the keyboard and it will act, it'll take a few seconds, but it will activate VR. Um, if you find that you are off kilter in VR, you want to click your left analog stick and it will recenter your view. Step seven, enjoy and make sure you thank the modders involved. Uh, on a side note, if you want to play multiplayer at the menu, click campaign and go play with friends. Create a new campaign lobby, lobby and set the server to local. Uh, and the host must have the mod installed. Other players can join with or without the mod. But yeah, it's a really good mod. I highly recommend it. Uh, definitely uh, give, it a, give it a go. It's, it's really fun. I enjoyed it. Peace. <laughs>